Hey, what's happening guys? So in this video, let us see how we can set up Motion to Android Studio. So let's go to Genymotion.com. Uh, That's where I'm exactly at. Genymotion.com. And uh, let's uh, sign in because if you want to download, you've got to be signed in. Let me just do it real quick. Okay. You can go to Downloads tab and uh, download it for Windows. So I'm gonna click on download for Windows. Okay, so here is my setup file. And if I click on run, so English, just click on next. It's pretty much like installing any other application. Uh, I don't like to have it here, so I'll uncheck it. And uh, it's going to C drive program files, Jenny Motion. I'll copy the location for now. And then I'll click on install. and make sure while you download download it with virtualbox version for as long as you do not have virtualbox you should download it along with virtualbox and uh, in my system virtualbox is already installed in case if your system is not having virtualbox just click on next next you know pretty much like any other installation setup and uh, no, I don't want to continue. I'll just click on no here. But you can click on next, next and get it installed. And yeah, here it is done. Launch Motion. I'll uncheck it and I'll click on finish. Now let me get to the Android Studio. I'll go to file and I'll go to settings. And now let me go to plugins and type Jenny motion so if I click on browse yeah here, here is Jenny motion I'll click on install so it requires an active internet connection so now that the Jenny motion plugin is installed I'll just click on restart Android studio click on ok uh, so it's asking me to restart well let me just click on restart I'll click on close now we have this new icon here Jenny motion device manager let's uh, set it up if I click on Jenny motion device manager select the path you know I'll just paste the path from which I had already copied during the uh, setup file during the installation so this is the path I'll click on apply and click OK now let's uh, click on it once again and now here we have the Genymotion device manager I'll click on new so yeah accept do not have any virtual device yet do you want to add a new one yes I want to add a new one I'll click on yes and uh, I need to be signed in to have an access to all the virtual devices I'll click on it and uh, I'll try signing in okay so now that I've already signed in uh, my favorite one for development would be uh, let's say Android version with Phi and uh, device would be Nexus 5 pretty good so now it's up to you to choose whatever model phone you want we have so many other options we have HTC one HTC one X uh, Samsung yes six at the time of recording it is uh, 2016 May 11th so you should definitely have you know uh, much better phones at the time when you are watching so you know I'm going to uh, stick with uh, Nexus 5 I'll click on next and next and it requires uh, to download the files to make Nexus 5 work so it's downloading it so let's just give it some time to download It 
can take anywhere between 5 to 10 to 20 minutes based on your internet connection speed so yeah good let it run okay finish and likewise if you want to add another device I'll just click on add and then I'll choose for example I want the latest version it's marshmallow and let's say I want uh, yes sex just click on that I'll click on next next give it some time to download and again so this is how you set up whatever phones you want but usually I prefer going with Nexus 5 you can choose whatever you want let's just wait for a second until the download finishes well <laughs> that was not se not a second let's say practically around uh, 30 to 40 seconds <laughs> all right it's almost done deploying virtual device okay good so if I click on finish I can choose whatever phone I want and if you if I click on this I can tweak the settings you know, right now I would uh, just leave it at default I'll click on OK and if I click on start so it's going to start whatever device I wanted to start so I've just chosen uh, Galaxy S6 to be started uh, just a moment because it's uh, starting let me close this out and this one too so here we have uh, the Geni motion device starting up and yeah it can take a good amount of time based on your computers uh, hardware specifications but you know it's a good good idea to wait for some time until it starts up you know this is especially during the first time it takes a uh, anywhere between three to four minutes hola so here we have uh, our yes x so here we have everything if I just click on this uh, green execute button so I can choose my Gini motion and click OK. Okay, so here we have our application up and running in uh, Galaxy S6 with Android Marshmallow. If you want, you can go and uh, check it out. So let me go to settings about the phone so here we have yes x api 23 which is uh, marshmallow android version 6.0 so i'm sure within the next uh, few days to come google is rolling out the next version of the android and by the time you watch this video you will have more phones so you will get more options to pick up and use but anyway this is the basic idea of how to set up a Genie motion device as quick as possible thank you stay subscribed if you like this video give it a thumbs up 